Hello folks, I'm back again and today we're going to unbox a brand new game from Roxley Games called Skyrise. Skyrise successfully funded on July 1st, 2022. Made uh, 597978 dollars on their campaign. So it's been long awaited. It was actually a pretty decent, uh, decently priced game. So I did get an upgrade. There are two upgrades, I believe, to get with this one. One was a wash that uh, that will be put all over the buildings and also, I believe, the base, the little flying base that they're on. And the other one was wooden tokens. And I wish I'd gotten the wooden tokens, but I did not. All right. Because they're really hard to find right now. All right. Oh, oh, things are falling out here. All right, I'm just gonna pull this out. Really well wrapped. Good bit of bubble wrap. It looks like it arrived nice and safe. Uh, the other things that are inside of here, these are some little wooden upgrades. Uh, these are different points that the different patrons will be. So you're gonna run over an A, B, and C. You're going to try to capture these districts and stuff, and, and the, the price or the, the points that they'll be worth will be some randomized uh, selection of these things. So you'll flip them over and then uh, mix them up and put them on the patrons. And uh, so you won't know exactly what points are what until you actually land on one of the spaces. And uh, if you're the first person to complete your building, you get an extra 10 points with this uh, key to the city, and they got a really cool metal key to the city. I thought this was like a first player token, but it's not. It's a, it's just a really cool metal, uh, almost like a metal coin, but it's a key, of course. And, uh, and there is a coin, so if you play with a four player, uh, there's another one. And this is kind of in the shape of a, I guess a coin or maybe a cog. It's got little cog wheels on it. But it's worth four points. If you're the second person in a four-player game to finish or build all your buildings. Uh, I've read the rule book for this, so I'm ready to go play. I'm going to play it tonight. So I'll be breaking this out and really uh, messing around with it right away. Uh, this, this has taken a while. I think it was supposed to arrive last year. Yeah, estimated delivery was June 2023. Oopsie! They had some issues, if I recall. Uh, they they did a like a sun drop offering, or basically a wash on their stuff. Hmm, really nice boxes. I like the it's got like a texture to it. That's pretty cool. Feels very premium. Really nice and thick. But I believe they uh, there was some hold up. I remember some people are a little bit aggravated. There's a bit of a hold up with them trying to figure out. Uh, how to get that wash just right, but from the samples I've seen, it, it looks like they did a good job. So I guess we'll we'll see for ourselves in a moment. Hmm. Ah, fresh game smell. It does have a little bit of a scent to it. I think it's. I don't know if it's the glue. <laughs> I'll let you know in a few minutes. Uh, here we have what looks like uh, the rule book. Yeah. It's a little plastic. I've never seen it in a little plastic uh, bag like that. That's kind of interesting. I'll just set that aside. I guess I could show you. This is their rules are really one. You can get this in a PDF, so you don't have to flip through this book with me. But uh, I'm going to open it just to show you just how simple it is. It's it's a really easy read. The concept for this are very intuitive, uh, and I, I believe that you'll enjoy how simplistic this game is. Well also, you know, it's got its own its own complexities, but it's a very straightforward game, a very easy to learn game, I think. I I read a lot of rule books and stuff like that. This one, I mean I, if I can get through it in like five or ten minutes, then that's amazing. Like look at the huge picture examples and stuff. And like I said before, you can get the same Look at the same rule book on a PDF right now, if you want to. That's why I'm kind of skimming through this pretty fast. Uh, 
All right. He even got backgrounds for all the characters. Uh, this I haven't read, so I don't know if this is important or not. Uh, I don't tend to read the flavor text. <laughs> Nothing extra for me, thanks. Uh, and then here's a, an explanation of the wonder cards and stuff like that, which will be probably the most unique element in this game. That'll um, and uh, and a couple of other little details here and there. Very cool. Very easy little rule book. Then here we have the player board or the the main board. It's folded up quadruply. That's pretty nice. Let's see if I can zoom out. Really cool. This is, uh, see the A, B, C and whatnot over here? If you look at the A, B, C, D, uh, or whatnot right here, this is where those wooden coins that we, uh, that we opened first will go. So you'll mix, you'll flip them over, mix up the numbers so you don't know which one's which, and then you'll put them on here. And maybe during the game you'll pick up an A token or, or a B token, and then you get to kind of secretly look at that number and see how valuable it is. And then uh, use that to make your decisions about what else you do. But that's a really nice board. It, it really looks, it's like, it's a little muted. and It really looks like you're looking down through atmosphere and stuff. Uh, of course, the clouds in the corners and stuff really sell it. Really, 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 really cool. I think I'm actually going to put this down here. I'm going to just put it aside like this. So I might break it back out once we get the uh, once we get the rest of it out. All right. Then we have the individual player boards. I'm not sure how asymmetrical these are. Uh, I haven't looked at each person. Honestly, step, except for aesthetics, I believe these are all the pretty much all the same. It's interesting that they sort of did the Robinson Crusoe with the with the two choices on a color. These are uh, triple layer boards because there's two sides to them, but they also have this dual layer, uh, you know, action going on up here. I think this guy's my favorite. <laughs> I like him a lot. All right, uh, here's the tokens. So if you got the wood tokens, uh, you could uh, check this or, or put it aside. Uh, this, uh, right, here's some tokens. I believe if you got the wood tokens, you won't need this because uh, that's what these replace. Uh, we got a few more characters here. Really nice art. Really cool looking. <laughs> nice hat, dude. All right. And, and once again, I, I haven't actually played it. I've read the rules, most of the rules. Obviously, I didn't look at any of the flavor text. And from what I can tell, I can't tell right off the bat. I don't... No, these are different. <laughs> there are different values uh, down here. So I guess each player will score a little bit differently in the different eras. All right, so here's uh, the little pieces that that coin replaced and the little four player one and a few extra of these. All right. So we've got a pretty cool vacuum form tray All right here. Uh, one critique I saw was that they didn't hold the buildings uh, too tightly. And as you can see uh, on their way over across the seas, they've gotten a little jostled in here. Uh, that's not, I don't know, that may be not too big a deal. You can't, I mean, this thing's gone a long, long ways. I'm, I'm not sure if like from my shelf to the table, if it will be a big deal, but I'll let you know as time goes on. These buildings are really super neat. Uh, I'm going to do them last, I think. I, the next, I want to pull out this island, because I really want to look at this. Now, I've been told and warned that there's a certain way to pull them in and out. So I'm trying to, like, remember, kind of notice what's going on. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll be watching this video to try to figure out how, how to put this back in here. 
So we've got this smaller one. Let me start over here. Okay, so we've got this smaller island and we've got a little grab bag. This is the center. So this will go right in the center of it. I'm looking at the wash on here. That looks really nice. <laughs> a sort of little bit of an industrial grime on it, which is, makes sense. It's something that's running and keeping uh, keeping you in the air. We got a little Skyrise bag. It's a little teeny tiny little draw bag. And we'll be drawing um, these tokens out of it. Then we've got the Wonders. Now these are kind of like the you know the Trump suit of the of the different uh, colors, player colors. If you play two player, you use two of these. But these are like little unique buildings that win. They will automatically win all the auctions. And uh, we'll go ahead and show you those. So these seem to be really nicely done. Uh, it looks like looks to me like they really got it down with the wash. Of course they just say W underneath on these because they're wonders. They're your main uh, special building. Let's see if they'll let me just swap it out. So every player color is going to have a wonder. And they kind of go with their unique building style because every architect has their own unique building style. So it's pretty cool. I think the blue one I haven't done yet. This one's a little bit harder to see than the other ones, but I love the uh, love the detail on these things already. I'm just going to plop them back in here. I'm not sure if they went on a particular one. Looks like they could go in any of these. And the little island, I'm going to leave that out because I want to set it up. And we've got this island piece here. As you can see, we've got a little uh, got a little diagram on the bottom here to, to help us put this back in the box later. We've got all these different pieces. Seems to be all right. So this is plastic all the way around the side of this. And it's got a wash on it. It's, it's detailed with like some steampunky uh, airship looking things to kind of... Uh, so you can imagine that this is being uh, lifted up above the clouds. And then on here, we have all the little territories that you're going to bid on. Because this is basically an auctioning game. And of course this component here is made of cardboard. This little piece here is where these little islands will connect together uh, to the center. You play with one of these per player. Uh, so if it's a two player game it's going to be like two islands in the middle. We have some scoring tabs here. These are just like some basic wood, little wood pieces. We have some little player color airships. I believe this is for the scoreboard. And it's pretty cool. Even these are all uh, unique. These little airships. They're all just slightly different. It's interesting. I'm seeing some abrasions and stuff in the box. Like it maybe had a, a rough trip over here. Or maybe it went in a little bit wet. If they put these things in wet, then I could see where some residue would... would uh, Maybe kind of leak out onto there. And I, I can't tell if that's what, what happened or not. Maybe we'll be able to tell a little bit better when we start pulling out these buildings. It's got a really small set of cards. So these things have hidden objectives. The hidden objectives are basically going to be the, the colors of these different territories. Like what do you collect out of there. It's a pretty small little pack of cards here. and uh, But you'll notice that there's two spaces here. So I wonder if that's like... Uh, if you decide to sleeve them, if you've got room for it, if that's what that is. I didn't see anything else to go there, so that's pretty cool if that's the case. And as we see these cards, we've got a setup aid. So here's like a little thing, little uh, quick thing to help you set up for a player count. All the different player counts. And then we got some nice shiny cards. These are nice and 
shiny looking. There's a couple of types of cards here. So let's see what we got. Let's start on this way. So these are wonder cards. So as you place your wonder, you're going to be able to, to uh, put this down and, and do this action. Uh, I haven't read all the different ones. I like to be a little bit surprised at least. <laughs> but you're going to get one of these at random. And uh, it's going to be the effect that happens when you put your wonder down. Really cool. They also have a uh, initiative number at the top to determine what order you go in. All right. So what else do we have here? Uh, the other thing we'll have let's see these are still wonder cards. I guess they'll all have initiatives. Okay. Yeah. The other thing we have are, these are kind of like common objectives. So within a game, uh, you'll be putting out some of these, uh, and that's sort of a goal that everybody's working towards. And the last thing here will be, uh, that looks like another one of those, uh, but the last thing here are, these are the secret objectives. So you're going to get more points if you build or, or have some sort of majority, let's see, at the end of the game, score 10 if you have four or more structures in the inventor or the brown section. So these, these color-coded sections, uh, if you go for them, you'll get bonuses. And it'll be kind of a secret on who's going for what, depending on how stealthy you are with that. Could be kind of difficult to hide your intentions with that one, but perhaps. I'll definitely be sleeving them to protect that foil and stuff. I'm always worried about getting rubbed off or grubbed off people's grubby fingers. All right, I guess we should take a look at these buildings. That's the last thing to look at in here, and then I'm where I'll set up the board and we'll take a look at that. But these um, hmm. one criticism I've heard a couple of times is that people wish that they had like a little pullout that would hold these buildings a little bit better, and you could just put on uh, an individual's, you know hand out the red and hand it to the red player and so on. These buildings are kind of interesting like because they'll stand up, they sort of teeter a little bit, they'll stand up on the top and then if you win the auction then you get to flip it over. So that's why they kind of have two sides and they, they're they all unique. Well I think maybe like the different sizes are unique within, within the different factions and let's just line some up and look at them. Let's start with green since I'm holding the green. There are two eras in this game, so you get two sets of them. Uh, you get one with the dot, one set of these with dots on them, and then one set that's not the dot. I believe that, I can't remember, are the dots first or second? I'll have to look that up before I play. But, uh, so let's just start with the smaller ones. Now, are they different? And that's crazy. It looks like these are unique. These. These, uh, these, I thought all the little small buildings would be the same or something, but it doesn't appear so. These are all unique. Here's another one. Yeah, here's one last look at all these, these smaller ones together. Bluefish. Ha! Huh. Looks like it's a restaurant or something. The detail on these is quite stunning, and I'm really, really glad I paid a very small amount to have them washed. I feel like I would have felt compelled to paint these myself uh, if I hadn't put the wash on them. And I'm sure mechanic-wise, it's a it's a great game even without you know these these little extra pieces. But boy, visually, it's it's quite stunning. Oh, there's one more small one. There's a little hidden ledge in there. Pretty cool. And uh, we got some uh, medium sized buildings. Again, completely unique. It's interesting, so all of these different colors are supposed to be different, or, you know, different architects. This is like one architect made all of these. So, um, aside from the color, 
you should be able to see some design choices that kind of make it seem really similar. But wow, isn't that neat? This, uh, this little corner building it reminds me of those old buildings in Chattanooga. So it looks like you've got three bigger buildings, and of course they have the bigger numbers on them. These will be the ones you, you win the high bidding, high stakes auctions. Very fascinating. Love the look of these things. There's just something about uh, buildings and miniature that's just very fascinating to me. Love, love, love it. Uh, so right here, let's just do the reds. Looks like we're going to go backwards with the red buildings and do the big ones first. Fine by me. That is just crazy. This almost looks like it's destroyed. But I guess these are... Uh, just design choices is what that is. Very cool. We'll cycle this one in. <laughs> and they all have to be so flat or so, or have a little perch so that they can stand on the top of this so that you can bid. Because you're going to put it down like that and place your bid and then flip it if you win. I wonder if it might be easier to put them down building side first, if they'll be less uh, pestery. Maybe you flip them over when you pull it out. Because you wouldn't like leave your other era buildings in. You'd give them all the buildings, you kind of just push some aside. So I think it probably, probably what I'll do is I'll just uh, flip them over. It's such a relief to get something with a bunch of miniatures that doesn't feel like I've got a huge project to do. I think it was $12 to add this wash. I forget what, it's all in Canadian dollars. And I've got the cost breakdown and everything I spent on this down in the description down there. So you can check that out if you want. Two more medium buildings in the red. I think what'll work best with these uh, small buildings is just two at a time. So here's uh, two of the red buildings. In case you're new to colors and stuff and didn't know what that was holding up. <laughs> it can happen! And the last two red buildings. Looking neat. It's funny, even the design on the numbers and stuff on the back of these, they kind of sort of look old-timey. You know, they have that sort of like lived-in look. Which goes a long way towards uh, the theme of this. And the last two small ones from here. Hopefully you guys can see these okay. This isn't ideal, but I wasn't going to throw all of these on a little carousel. It's just too much. All right, here's two medium buildings. You can kind of see around the corner. All right. Two more medium buildings. All of them very unique. Very interesting architecture. I love this one. How cool is that? All right, and the last medium sized building for the, I guess, the yellow player. Are these yellow? Kind of a beige. And then we got the big buildings. Just a quick look at their buildings. And this one. Oh, I have a feeling this is something you're going to just, you're going to see things every time you look at this. So worth the wait. Uh, the quality of each of these miniatures is really, really nice. Really, really nice.
It looks like it was designed to have this wash. Uh, if you have that in your head before you start, you always end up with a better result. It seems like storing them upside down would be a bra you know, rubbing this stuff a, a bit. I bet some of that was because they did, there was a chance that maybe the ink would <laughs> drip a little bit as it went out. So it was probably to help drain it and bring all these things up. All right, here's the last color. Uh, this is the blues. These blues are a little bit harder to see than the other ones. They're just a little dark. Not bad by any stretch of the imagination, but they are a little darker. I have the exposure up just a little bit on my above camera. Just gonna help make out what's going on with this stuff. I apologize if the focus gets kind of wanky. I'm trying to stop. If I notice it goes out of focus, I stop and, and try to make an adjustment. So I want you guys to be able to see and appreciate how neat all this stuff is. I'm running through these quickly because I'm running out of batteries. <laughs> How interesting is that? It looks really cool. Medium sized buildings. Again, interesting little solutions for making it sit this way. We got these two little guys. Every building unique. But yeah, I was really surprised to see just all the effort that they went into making these all these buildings really interesting and unique and different. That's all the contents of the box. Uh, I have a feeling that uh, there's been some talk about these packing up, but a lot of people did not, uh, supposedly did not read <laughs> or notice the back of the little things on the back here to explain how they go in. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put this out on the board and we'll take a look at that. Normally I'd rebox all this. All of this has things for that go where they're supposed to go. I'm not sure where this key would go. Oh, <laughs> what's funny is I've heard people talking about this and I just somehow missed it myself. But right here on the side of the box is a whole layout for exactly how everything's supposed to go back in. I really appreciate that. What a cool concept. Yes, so uh, all these tokens here are gonna go right right there oh perfect these little player color things go right in here to this part we all know how the buildings go i'm going to go and flip my buildings over the other way i'm suddenly really curious if uh if this lid won't fit right if i do it the other way i'm thinking surely not surely it'll fit just the same and everything will, will pack away just as good flipped on the other side, right? Right? Yeah, so unless they're worried about these numbers getting scuffed up, I think with the, I think more than likely they're worried that the wash would drip down onto them there. Or maybe they want them up because you're supposed to store them that way when you hand them out to each other. You're supposed to keep them face up so everybody knows what you have to bid on. All I know is opening my box and seeing all the uh, the buildings like that, this seems really exciting to me. And I do believe the intent with this is uh, if you sleeve your cards, uh, usually when you sleeve something, you've got to have double the amount of, sp of space. So they're making a, these wells big enough to hold these unsleeved and another well just like it next to it seems to indicate that you could put your sleeve cards in there. This stuff I'm going to punch out here in a minute. So many games like this really draw me in, but what really does it is the, uh, the presence that it has. And I don't, I don't think it matters exactly which one of these I choose. It just kind of goes like that. And if I play a two player game, then I'm just doing two islands. They have bridges that connect one another. And I'll have to look and see if they're supposed to be kind of like opposite sides like that or just or just set this way. So there's a like a two player game, the smallest count you'd have. But it does go up to four players. <laughs> Pretty 
perhaps a little tricky to figure. Okay. <laughs> the bridges kind of fit underneath each other. There were some people that seemed to complain that things didn't uh, line up just right. I'm not finding that to be the case of mine. Everything seems to be on, going on there just perfect. Uh, others said that the, their cardboard had popped up a little bit or something. As far as I can tell, this is a, I got a really clean copy of that. And so I'm thankful and hopeful that those were probably outliers and that doesn't happen a whole lot. Yeah, so as the game goes on, you, you'll, uh, you'll put a building out and that'll be your bid and then somebody else will come along and somewhere adjacent to you, they'll put their bid out and then somebody else will come along and they'll be like, well, I really want this one. And, and then if everybody passes, like nobody wants to bid anymore, this will flip over, these will go away, and then they'll get this space. And some token that'll be in that space, because all of this stuff will be populated with little tokens and stuff. All right, folks, I think I'm going to end it right there. This has been Skyrise by Roxley. Uh, what beautiful artwork on the inside of the box. Very, very nicely done box, too, by the way. I kind of skip right over that, but very good thickness. Really pretty artwork on the inside. The Super Deluxe version will not be available in retail, they said, uh, they said during the campaign. So if you uh, get on some pre-orders or something like that, you probably could still pick this up. Uh, it's a little bit more expensive than what I paid for it, of course, but uh, I definitely... It definitely came out well. <laughs> I'd like to do a playthrough of this, and uh, I'll probably do a playthrough and a review, kind of mash them in together, because uh, it is such a cool game. just want to tell everyone about it. <laughs> Folks, that's all I got for you today. I'll be back soon with more videos. Until next time, enjoy your games. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.